just when an oil production breakthrough began to seem possible in beleaguered Libya, trouble shifted from terminals to oil fields. During 2013 to 2016, after production had mostly recovered from the country's 2011 civil war, militancy closed ports vital to Sirta Basin fields. Oil output fell from 1,400,000 barrels a day to as low as 200,000 barrels a day, averaging 390,000 barrels a day over the period. Production recovered when the National Oil Corporation regained control of the terminals last June. It reached 1,280,000 barrels a day in October. With Libyan governance split geographically, though, security remains tenuous. The Government of National Accord, or GNA, recognized by the United Nations, dominates western Libya from Tripoli. A rival government controls Libya's east, led by Abdullah Althini from Beta and including the House of Representatives in Tobruk. Althini relies for security on Khalifa Haftar, a general under former leader Muammar Gaddafi, who has emerged as a power broker. After nearly a doubling of oil production between July and October last year, the Arab Petroleum Investments Corporation wrote that growth beyond 1,400,000 barrels a day by 2020 was plausible if stability lasted in view of renewed but cautious investment by foreign operators and service providers. But in December, militants struck again, this time in El Sharara oil field in southwestern Libya, shutting in 300,000 barrels a day of production. Haftar's Libyan National Army, or LNA, this month began a campaign to secure El Sharara facilities. Success of the operation, says V Risk Maple Crop, North African analyst Hamish Kinnear, would hugely strengthen Haftar's control over Libyan resources. This, in turn, would shore up Haftar's bargaining position in ongoing negotiations with the GNA, Kinnear says. Partly because Haftar's LNA must rely on local alliances with southern militias, however, success will not happen quickly. And to sustain El Sharara production, the LNA would need support from southern groups that include the Fezzan Anger Movement, protests of which preceded last December's takeover of the field. For LNA, Kinnear says, diplomatic abilities will prove to be just as important as their military strength. I'm Bob Tippy, editor of Oil & Gas Journal. And that's the editor's perspective, which appeared first in text at www.ogj.com on January 25th, 2019. To comment, join the commentary channel at www.ogj.com slash oil and gas community.